Sunday Night Football just wrapped up, so let's recap everything that happened today. So sit back and let's get into it. Chargers continue to dominate in the ground game, and the Panthers, well, they look like the worst team in the league again. Bryce Young, I'm sorry, but I think it's time to get your job back at Raising Canes. Put the fries in the bag. The Packers surprised me here. They actually moved the ball pretty well with Malik Willis under center, but the Colts, y'all disappointed me. Especially you, AR. You were terrible today. What happened? What's going on with the Saints offense right now? Back-to-back 40-point -back games? Dallas didn't seem like they had a defense today. Alvin Kamara was just living in the end zone. Another shocker with the Vikings beating the Niners? What happened to Sam Darnold, the man who used to see ghosts on the field? Because that ain't him. I don't know who this guy is, but bro's been balling this year. He had a nail-biter between the Jets and Titans. Aaron Rodgers got his first win as Jet. Will Levis, your brain is made of mayonnaise. What were you thinking when you flipped that ball back to your receiver? That's two costly turnovers two weeks in a row that cost your team the win. Had a close game here. The Bucks got their revenge from last year's playoff loss to the Lions. And Baker, my boy, looking like an MVP candidate right now. I love to see it. Aiden Hutchinson, right now, Defensive Player of the Year. Bro had five sacks today. This game was kind of boring, but it was fun watching the rookies light it up. Jaden Daniels looks like a star in the making. This man's the best rookie quarterback in this year's draft class. Malik Neighbors looked great, other than the one drop he had at the end of the game. But other than that, great game. But Daniel Jones, man. Get ready to learn Chinese, kid. This game was more of a defensive battle. But I don't even know if you can call it that because Deshaun Watson continues to play like Cheeks. Once again, Trevor Lawrence looks like the most overrated quarterback in football. This guy hasn't done anything. This game was close, went to OT, and the Patriots, I don't know why they're playing so well right now. But what I do know is this wide receiver duo right here is one of the best in the league. This game was crazy. Gardner Minshew led the comeback against the Ravens on the road. I don't know if anyone else noticed this, but Lamar legit could have scored scored on this final play. He had a blocker for this defender right here, and then this guy, he just had to shake out of his shoes, which it's Lamar Jackson, he will. But instead of just running it, he just laterals it back. Justin Fields continues to get the job done for the Steelers. It ain't ever pretty, but as long as he gets the win, who can complain? I thought Bo Nix looked a little bit better than last week, and he went up against the Steelers' defense, which is one of the best in the league. Cardinals laid an ass whooping on the Rams. Cardinals might be a really good team this year, but they gotta just keep feeding Marvin Harrison Jr. This man's gonna be a beast. Kyler Murray's been great, but enjoy it while you can, Cardinals fans, because Call of Duty drops October 25th, and the Rams offense might be so cooked, because Puka Nakua, and now maybe Cooper Cup might be missing a couple of weeks. This Bengals team makes absolutely no sense. Week 1, at home, they lose to the Patriots, and then a week later, they go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the defending champs on the road. And Jamar Chase starting to become one of the biggest divas in the NFL now. First, he was crying about his contract issues. Now, he's crying on the field. When is he not crying? And I'll still He'll stand by this. The Bengals were screwed at the end. This should not have been a P.I. And the Texans took care of business in a low score game against the Bears. This duo looked great together. Nico Collins. I don't know where the hell he came from, but bro's been a stud. The Bears defense looks phenomenal. Kept the Texans under 20 points. But Caleb Williams was overrated AF. This man was either getting wrecked or throwing a horrible pass to his receiver that was nowhere near him. Caleb, this ain't college anymore. This is the NFL. You're with the big dogs now. 